Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. All right, we're gonna do another episode of Bites and Nibbles with Breck today. Uh, this recipe has kind of an odd origin. A lot of times I find recipes online, I find recipes in books, in cookbooks that I have. Sometimes I even find recipes that some of my viewers sent me. But this one has a different origin. Turns out I was at the local HEB last week doing some shopping and the first cart that I uh, pulled out of the shopping cart uh, rack there, uh, the wheels weren't rolling very well. One of them was uh, not not spinning very well and it was creating uh it was making it harder to push the cart than i needed to so i threw that one back almost immediately and went to the second cart when i went to the second cart there was a recipe sitting in the cart and i looked at it and it said cajun shrimp pasta and that looks pretty good that sounded pretty good and then i looked at the ingredients and it really did sound really good and i decided at the moment i'm going to do that recipe myself and i kept the recipe that's it right there and today we're gonna to prepare it. So I'm at the grocery store picking up the ingredients for our Cajun shrimp pasta. And it just occurred to me, this is the second time this recipe has been in a shopping cart here. All right, we're back from the grocery store and these are our ingredients. We're gonna have some chicken broth, olive oil, diced tomatoes, lime juice, Parmesan cheese, freshly grated, flour, cayenne pepper, garlic powder, Cajun seasoning, salt and pepper, some fettuccine, three different uh, bell peppers, a red onion, some garlic, a little heavy whipping cream, some butter, and of course our shrimp. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take one pound of our shrimp and I am going to coat it with a concoction that's basically made out of the Cajun seasoning, one tablespoon, a little uh, garlic powder, half a teaspoon, and one tablespoon of lime juice. So I've kind of mixed that together here. We're gonna pour that into our bowl and we're just gonna kind of mix everything up. It's a little thick, so I'm gonna get a scraper and get it all out of there. All right, so we got that all out of there, got everything nice and mixed up, we're ready to go here. Now it says we're gonna put this aside for a little while, so I'm gonna throw this into the refrigerator and we'll catch up with this in a little bit. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna prepare our fettuccine. Now the recipe says to prepare your fettuccine al dente. Now what that basically means is you're not gonna cook it as long as you would if it's gonna go right into, right onto the, onto the plate and have sauce poured on it. This is basically, we're gonna cook it uh, a couple minutes less than that. And when, that, when we do hit that point, we're gonna take it out and the rest of the cooking will actually take place when we're cooking with all of the rest of the ingredients. So it'll absorb some of the flavor from the sauce that's gonna be part of that. So we're gonna bring about four to six quarts of water up to a boil. I put about a tablespoon of salt in there per the recipe, and we're gonna prepare our fettuccine for about eight minutes. All right, I brought my water up to a boil. I'm gonna pour in my fettuccine. I actually broke it in half just so it fits in there a little better. And we're gonna cook it for about eight minutes, maybe a little less. Now while that's happening, we're also going to prepare our shrimp. And I'm gonna pull out the old cast iron pan here and we're gonna melt a tablespoon of butter and a tablespoon of olive oil together and we're gonna cook our shrimp in two little batches. I've also taken a couple minutes and sliced up my onions and bell peppers so that when we're ready to use them, they'll be ready for us. Now that our butter has melted, I'm gonna pour about half the shrimp in here and we're gonna cook them uh, a little bit at a time here. Give them a couple minutes on each side. Get them nice and uh, separated so they're all making contact with a pot, with a, with a skillet here. And we're just gonna cook them for a couple minutes here. Gotta be able to multitask sometimes. All right, our pasta is, uh, is ready to go. First thing I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna save about half a cup of the pasta water. They recommend that because we're gonna add that into our, into our recipe a little later. So we're gonna put that aside and then we're gonna strain the rest of this. 
So we're gonna allow the pasta to, to uh, drain very well, and we're gonna, just gonna put it aside. We're gonna cover it up and uh, let it drain here, and we'll come back to this in a little bit. All right, we got the shrimp prepared. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put this aside because we're gonna use the same uh, cast iron skillet to prepare our veggies. Now that I've emptied the pan of my shrimp, I'm gonna actually prepare my veggies next. So I'm gonna pour my uh, bell peppers and onions in here. Get it all out of there. And we're gonna cook this for about two minutes. And in addition to that, I'm gonna add some more dry ingredients. This is about three tablespoons of um, Cajun seasoning, some salt, some pepper, and a little cayenne pepper for flavor. Now, the cayenne pepper is optional. You don't have to do that. But they're recommending this if you want a little bit of heat. And well, you know me. All right, this has been going now for a couple minutes. It's probably about right. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our garlic and a little bit of flour, which will eventually, when we start adding in the, the rest of the stuff, will cause the sauce to thicken up some. And then we're gonna cook that for another two minutes. Once again, kind of stirring everything in here. Looking good, isn't it? Alright, that should about do that. Alright friends, I'm sorry, the scene that belongs in this location got lost somewhere along the way. It happens, I don't know exactly what happened, but it's just one of the things you run into from time to time as a vlogger. Here's what we missed. Basically, I lowered the heat on the skillet for the peppers. I put in a cup and a half of the chicken stock, half a cup of the whipping cream, and kind of kept it moving and brought it up to a slow simmer for a couple minutes, and then I put the diced tomatoes in. All right, we brought our, uh, our contents up to kind of a slow simmer. Um, we're gonna reduce the heat now, probably to about medium. I'm gonna add a little bit of lime juice for flavor. We're gonna stir that in a little bit. Get that kind of mixed in. And then I'm gonna put three quarters of a cup of Parmesan cheese, fresh, freshly grated. And we're going to stir that all in until it all melts. And that's going to make this really good, I think. All right, let's get that going here. Oh, yeah. This is going to help it thicken up, too. We're just going to stir it until we get it all nice and melty. That's a word, right? Melty? It is now. I mean, you know what I'm talking about, right? So I just coined my own phrase here. All right, that looks pretty melty. Now we're going to put our pasta and our shrimp in this. And we're gonna mix it all together until everything's nice and coated. We're also gonna add that extra pasta water here, which will thin it up a little bit. And I'm just gonna let this cook for a couple minutes. I've moved up to kind of a medium heat again just to because the shrimp and the pasta have actually cooled off a little bit and so when you add a bunch of cold stuff to a warm liquid it tends to cool it off a little bit so we're gonna take care of that 
It'll also help it thicken up a little bit as we cook it. Some of the some of the juices from the sauce will will mix in and kind of finish up the pasta too, which is what we're looking for. So I'm just going to keep this moving for the next couple minutes, and I'll catch up with you then. All right, I think we're there. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? I gotta admit, I, che I cheated a little and tasted the sauce. It is good. All right, let's get this onto a plate and test it. All right, it's taste test time, but before we do that, we're gonna garnish a little bit with a little bit more of our Parmesan cheese. Give it a little bit of extra flavor on the top. But this looks really good. I can't wait to try this. Okay, let's give it a, give it a test here. Gonna get a good chunk of shrimp and a good chunk of uh, the fettuccine. Oh yeah, that's good. Um, now, it's got a nice little bite to it, and you, of course you know I like that. You don't have to put the cayenne pepper in it if you're not into that. It's going to be very good and very flavorful by itself. Personally, I would have probably cut down the salt just a tad. Uh, it's a little on the salty side, but that's that's okay. It's not that bad. And in terms of the rest of the thing, it's tons and tons of flavor. Now, I'm not usually a person that likes bell peppers, and so that was one of the little things that I was a little concerned about because there's an awful lot of bell peppers in here. So far, the bell peppers aren't really, in my opinion, hurting the flavor at all. Because I think sometimes when you cook bell peppers, it kind of cooks the flavor out of it. And like, like I said, I'm not really a fan of bell peppers. Um, I prefer my, uh, my peppers, jalapenos and above, but uh, it's pretty good. It adds to the texture. It adds to, it definitely makes it look very pretty to have the oranges and yellows and reds in there and it is a very tasty meal so definitely check this one out if you're interested i'll put the recipe in the description below and i think that's all that i have for today so thank you as always for watching and i'll see you next time on escaping the mouse bon appetit